What is up, everybody? Welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. It is a beautiful summer evening here in Finley, Ohio. And the Ginger Yeti and I are hanging out in the beer shed getting ready to check out a new beer. Now, if you watched the previous two videos, you'd know we stumbled across this four-pack. It says Coma's Beer Tasting Set. And this is a Polish brewery. It's Bruar Fortuna from Milislaw, Poland. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And there were four different beers in here. It was a Baltic Porter, a Raspberry Porter, Imperial Stout, and a Barley Wine Ale. So at this point, we've done the Barley Wine and the Raspberry Porter. So we have two left. Uh, because this brewery is called Brewer Fortuna, we decided we would leave this up to fortune and fate. We'll let Fortuna's wheels spin and see which beer we get in which order. So, Anderson did the first beer, I did the second. It's your pull. Which one are you going to do, my brother? Well, we already got the uh, worst one out of the way. The barley wine is done. That's the one we were dreading. Um, so I guess now... So the rest of these shouldn't be too bad. It's an Imperial Stout or a Baltic Porter, right? What do you got? The Baltic Porter. There we go. So let me get my card for that one. Baltic Porter. All right. So, like I said, this is from Brewer Fortuna from Milislaw, Poland. Um, this beer does pretty well. It looks like it's 9% ABV. Ratings-wise, untapped, 3.83. Beer Advocate, 411. 91 outstanding. That's pretty good uh, rep for a beer like that's this. Good. That's some good ratings. It also won a bronze medal at the World Beer Cup in 2014. So, so this is another medal winner. But yeah, yeah. I think I think when I looked these up, like three of the four had won a medal or multiple medals. Some of them were like European. Because the barley wine won a medal at some yeah, look European. On the side, flip it around. I think it says it on the side of the six-pack holder. Flip it around to the other side. I think it shows you the medals there, too. Look up top there, right? Yeah, the World Beer Cup and then whatever the gold star. I think that's the European one. Yeah, it's the European Beer Star. That was the silver Beer one. Beer Tasting Gold Award 2013. Oh, that, then there's another one. There's a, a silver medal as well. And then there's the World Beer Cup Bronze Award. Flip it around the other side. See if there's other medals there. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's the silver. So European three, Beer Star. Yeah. The Beer Tasting Silver Award 2018. So three of, the four beers, three of the four beers in this one, a medal... What's the price? Fourteen ninety nine or fifteen ninety nine? Fifteen ninety nine. Fifteen ninety nine. Four packs starting to get a little soggy. Yeah, we put the beers in the cooler while we went to eat dinner, so this, the, the packs is a, is a bit soft at this point. Um, all right, man, you ready to give this one a shot? Absolutely. So let's take a look at the look at this real quick. Um, like I mentioned in the other videos, this one's kind of neat, and it has this little chart here, and it says uh, fresh and and. Fruity. Fresh and fruity. No, this one says fresh and roasted. Oh, fresh and roasted. This huh. is different. Dry and complex. And I guess the longer you let it age, the more dry and complex it becomes. We looked at dates on the other two. And this has 22 in there somewhere with some other numbers. I'm guessing these all came from 2022 as it's 2023. Probably be about right. All right, let's give it a shot. 9%. So I think of these four, one was 8.5 was the lowest ABV. Yes, and 12 something, was it 12 straight was yeah. the highest? So we're going to be a damn mess after these probably. Plus we have 37 beers in the fridge to drink. Tonight will end well. Yeah, what are you going to do? We'll both be sleeping out here in the beer shed. Your wife will have the locks changed by the morning. <laughs> we'll blame it all on my son. He's home as well. All right. I was too lazy to bring us the cooler. Uh, this is the gold star. Oh, this must have won two medals. Because look, this has the gold star here plus the World Beer Cup one. That yeah, this one only has the silver star. star. What the other one we have? Nothing. Nothing. So that one, that's just their logo. Just their logo. So this one won two medals. And like I said, it did have a 91 outstanding rating on Beer Advocate, so pretty good. Color, we going off the top of the Brew HQ chart, 41 plus. This is black. That's the bottom. We're not doing this again. One is the bottom, <laughs> 40 is up. 41 plus is the top. Head, not a whole heck of a lot, uh, but it's got a nice tan color to it. Mine dissipated real quick. Mine's, Mine's still hanging gone. around a tiny bit. This is one of the downsides, I think, when you're sharing, like, a smaller, it's probably 11.2 ounce, I'm guessing. Probably. Most of the Euro ones tend to be 11.2. Yeah, 11.2. Yeah, 11.2 ounces. Again, brewed in Poland. Hmm, color looks good. Let's Mine's pretty much gone. Roasty. Big roasty kind of uh, grain. Smells good, if that's your thing. I dig it. But that's about all I'm getting. Not much else. No. How long are you going to sniff that? 
I was going to make some political jokes, but I'll cease and desist. Let's go. I would agree. It smells, you get the roasty grain smell you can expect on a beer like this. And not much else. No, I mean, I was looking to see if, if you picked up like coffee or chocolate or something like that. And I don't really pick up coffee. Maybe, maybe dark chocolate. Maybe a little bit of dark, dark yeah, chocolate. If you, if you kind of get in there, good. It's a little bit of dark chocolate, but that's about it. I mean, again, Baltic Porter, probably about par for the course. Cheers. Body. Medium to heavy. Yeah. Medium full. I don't think it's super full. Probably on the cusp, medium to full. Yeah, medium to full. I like it. Taste, first thing I pick up is kind of like a nice dark chocolate taste. Yes. You pick up some, like, obviously roasted malt kind of yeah. thing. Um, I've seen some people saying coffee. I don't pick up coffee that much. On this. I know coffee flavors are all over the place. It's like saying something tastes like beer, and you're like, well, be more specific. There's a billion types of beer, a billion types of coffee. For me, this is more chocolate than coffee. Yeah, it's a bitter chocolate. Um, I'm not getting the coffee either. Definitely bitter chocolate. There is a tiny bit of a sweetness to it, though, as well. Which kind of comes later, and I think you taste it on your lips as well. It's like kind of dry. Dry, for sure. But I guess chocolate's kind of a dry... Bitter chocolate is definitely bitter dry. Bitter chocolate is dry in and of itself, so maybe that would you know, be fitting, considering what we're doing here. Um, I dig this. I mean, I think you definitely get the sweet. You get the dark chocolate, which is a little more bitter. Um, you pick up that nice roasty, malty kind of thing, and, and I mean, that's kind of it, because I think that's kind of all it's supposed to be. I am getting a little bit of a burn. Are you? Yeah. Well, this was what, 9%? I'm going to take a big sip and see. I've been taking little ones to try to, like, savor it and figure out the flavor a little more. Like a little bit of a burn, like, halfway down. Yeah. It's weird. With the higher ABV stuff, sometimes you pick it up on your lips. Sometimes you kind of don't really get to swallow it, and then you feel like, oh, snap, it's burning going down your throat. This one, I think for me, I would agree, like, you feel almost in your belly. Yeah, like a little a bit of a burn. warming... Yeah, not, not super big, but you feel, I think you know this isn't Coors Light, clearly, right? I mean, you get a little bit of a burn. But for 9%, I think it hides it relatively well. It does, well. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely relatively does. well. I mean, I think this is another stunner. I mean, when I bought this, I thought it would be a novelty, and I really just bought it so I could ran against uh, mixed IPA packs, because every time I go to the grocery store, it's like, have our box of hops, 70,000 friggin', you know, different IPAs. And I'm like, cool, I have no problem with IPAs. I have no problem with people that like them. But what about everybody else, man? Or if you want to make a mix box, have an IPA, maybe a porter, maybe a stout, maybe a lager, maybe whatever. I mean, mix right. it up. And I think other than just IPA boxes, I mean, I remember a while back we talked about Platform had done the, was it a mixed lager box? Yeah. Which was different. It was just something different. And I think this fell into that category. And I bought it to kind of illustrate that purpose, not realizing that all these metals were on the box and that these were actually going to be stunners. I mean, like I said, on Untapped. I mean, Beer Advocate, you have, like, the, the ratings from the fans, and you kind of have that aggregate score. And the lowest was an 89. I think they were 89 through, like, 91 or so. But they were they were going back and forth between, like, uh, very good and outstanding, which is not what I had expected. And that's lucky for 16 bucks. Hell, yeah, for $4 a bottle. And these are imported, came all the way from Poland. Um, Polish beer, I haven't had a great the greatest experience with it. Most of the stuff I have is like Tisky and kind of like Euro Lager type things. So to try something like this and see what else is available in Poland, magnificent. So for me, Baltic Porter, big thumbs up, man. I love this. I have had the opportunity to go to Poland a few times and have Polish beers in Poland. Yeah. So I've had quite a few Polish beers. But these are outstanding. This is magnificent, like you said. I mean, I give it a big thumbs up. I would definitely drink another one of these. Yeah. I wouldn't drink too many of them because I'll be on the floor. Or, I would. Or, or blow and then we'd be blow living in the shed. Or I'll be busting out the Vuvuzela. <laughs> the, ooh, let's not get into the Vuvuzela. It was a dark time. But Baltic Porter, two thumbs up from us. Hopefully, if you guys like the video, give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you don't see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. We're, we're inching and clawing our way towards that thousand sub mark. So every sub counts. If you watch your videos and it's not too much of an inconvenience, please hit subscribe. You don't have to hit the bell thing. I understand you don't be bothered at work all the time. But hit subscribe if you could. Maybe at 1,000 
subscribers will tell the Vuvuzela story. Oh, we might. Maybe we'll bring in the Vuvuzela. <laughs> Maybe we'll let my wife tell the Vuvuzela story. <laughs> Her version will be very different than our version. It absolutely will be. She was not happy on that day. But that's for another day. So, <laughs> hey, till next time. Cheers. Cheers.